you know, I, I'm, I'm comfortable at my position. You know, years ago when I was, you know, um, motivated to be a head coach and was a head coach, uh, there's so many different aspects to your day. You have to deal with the players. You're dealing with the media. You're dealing with your coordinators on both sides of the ball as well as your special teams coordinator. So there's a lot going on as well as all the personnel things that occur from, you know, the front office. So, you know, just to be in this world a little bit more isolated, you know, secluded where I can just focus on coaching the line, it's, it's really good. It's comfortable for where I'm at in, in this stage of my career. Like, how did you find your, your leadership or motivation I know. style? It's crazy, career? isn't it? You know, I'm, I'm really short, you know, I'm, I don't weigh a lot. So uh, coaching these guys is different. So I remember way back in the early 80s when I was, I wanted to be a quarterback coach because I played quarterback and I, I loved the West Coast offense. I went to the University of Illinois under Mike White, who had just gotten the job at Illinois, had to come from the San Francisco 49ers under Bill Walsh. I wanted to learn the West Coast system, so I went there as a graduate assistant with the hopes that I'd be a coordinator and a quarterback coach. And then along the lines, as I was coaching, I got promoted to tight ends. I think I was only 25 or 26. And then all of a sudden, the line coach left and he said, you're the line coach. <laughs> and so I said, oh boy, what do I do now? So I had like 25 or 26 kids in my line room, you know, and here I am. You know, I've coached the tight ends and the tackles, but I didn't coach the line. So it was my first opportunity to get in front of a group and really teach technique, you know, and Coach White had helped me with that. He was a great mentor, you know, and a good friend. And it was just, uh, you know, one of those experiences that you would never expect. And then I just kind of ran with it, you know. So, you know, every coach has their own way of motivating their players. And, you know, whether, you know, you're jabbing at them or whether you're yelling and screaming. I can't scream anymore because I'm too old. So, you know, I just kind of go at it a little bit uh, more cerebral, you know, and try to challenge them mentally, you know, so they feel like they've got to live up to the challenge and, and obviously answer to what they've done, you know, good and bad.